gentlemen, I'm Lloyd Nolan. You know, I feel very privileged that I'm about to become the first actor ever to appear before the public in natural vision, three dimension. Now, I assume that you all have your magic glasses on. They really are magic. And that you have them on straight. Good. Now, so far, you've seen only two of my dimensions. Up and down, that is, height and width. And now, Mr. Projectionist, up there in the booth, would you be kind enough to give us the third dimension? Thank you. And the third dimension, as you well know, is depth. It's rather remarkable, isn't it? Oh, I beg your pardon. And now, it's time for Beanie! Mr. Nolan. It's me, Beanie. And my best pal, Cecil and Cecil, Cecil Bands. Well, if it isn't our good friends Beanie and Cecil of the famous Time for Beanie program. I don't see depth. Do you see depth, Cecil? No. It's a flat world to me, Beanie boy. Now listen, Beanie, you haven't been listening. I told you to see depth. You have to use the magic glasses. Okay. You're on, Mr. Nolan. Golly, Cecil. Look! <laughs> what do you know? The world really is round. Look at me. Look at me, Beanie Boy. I'm looking, I'm looking. <laughs> oh, hi, Cecilia. <laughs> hey, what the heck? Your head is round like a balloon, Beanie. Like a balloon? Yeah. What do you mean, Cecil? Well, I mean, I mean your head. I mean... Huh? Well, just a minute, I'll show you. Oh, you see this here? Mm -hmm. This the balloon? Yeah. All right, watch it. Be careful, T. <gasps> Don't blow that too much. I think that's enough, T. <gasps> no more, T. No more. <laughs> that's enough, T. That's enough. That's enough. Cecil, do you see what I see? Wow! First, we had the silence. Next, we had the talkies. And third and last, we have the round. <coughs> hey, uh, fellas, I'm here too. He's very lovely, isn't he? I'm sure you'd like to meet him. Shirley? Ladies and gentlemen, meet Miss Shirley. Can you tell me, Lloyd, how you get this wonderful feeling of space? This new sense of freedom. Suddenly, I'm, I'm no longer a flat picture. I feel alive, as though I could walk right out to the screen. Ah, come here. No tricks. You're walking right into their laps. But how do you get this feeling of space? Well, uh, the same way you do, by using two eyes instead of one. You see, uh, come here, I'll show you. Here's the equipment through which we photograph natural vision. It's very revolutionary. All this, and a, a great deal more, of course, at last makes it possible to photograph a feature-length picture in three dimensions. Why is natural vision different from previous attempts at third dimension? Because for the first time, it duplicates the miracle of the eyes. In photography, as in real life, two eyes are better than one. Why is it necessary to wear glasses to view three-dimensional motion pictures? Well, Shirley, perhaps you'd better ask an eye specialist that question. As a matter of fact, it was just such an ophthalmologist who had a great deal to do with the developing of natural vision. To answer your question, Miss Tegge, the only way possible known to science for audiences to successfully view true three-dimension is through the use of glasses. Are these the same as Polaroid sunglasses? Not exactly, but made of the same material. Tell me, Doctor, how does natural vision affect the eye? When natural vision standards of photography and projection are adhered to, your eyes will function as they do in nature, which is healthy and beneficial. You should leave the theater with your eyes relaxed and refreshed as never before in viewing a motion picture. 